All right, guys, so we've got the Lexus back in. I did about seven months ago. We used the Art to Shine NGC. That's nano graphene coating. It, I, th I don't know if it's version two or three. They just come out with a new one. So this was the version before that. And we're just gonna do a, a nice maintenance wash. We're gonna be using the pH neutral Art to Shine citrus cleaner on the outside. We're also gonna be using the tire coat on the on the tires from Art to Shine, and to top over when I'm done, I'm going to be using their graphene detailer from Art to Shine. I'm going to use one part. This is a concentrated stuff, so one part product to nine parts water in the bottle to clean the wheels. I will be using um, Anzo, Icern, and Revolve. That's their tire and wheel cleaners. So let's get to it. I'll show you the car. Remember, it's been seven months. It just needs a nice maintenance wash and let's go. So I'm not really sure, <clears throat> sure how long this car has been washed last, <clears throat> but it just looks a, a little dirty. It's got a lot of maybe some spots on it here, some dirt for some rain, not really a big deal. And lots and lots of dust. Okay, so <clears throat> I've had to go over these tires two times with the Enzo wheel cleaner because they have browning, a lot of browning in them. And I'm just trying to get it out. Looks like two times is the key here. And what I'm also going to do while the wheel is wet, as you guys can see, there is no beading on here. So we're going to hit it with the Hydro Blue from McKees. Get crazy with it. Now you can see that the water just doesn't want to stick at all.
Very good. Hydro Blue, baby. Protection in a bottle. All right, so I've got my little bottle of Art to Shine Graphene Detailer Concentrate, and I'm mixing it into my other bottle, one to nine. All right, so one part product to nine parts water, and this is what I've got, bottle made here. And I'm gonna take my towel. Spray it on. And it's still relatively smooth over here, but you can feel a, a nice difference once you've gone over it with the detailer.
Okay guys, so did you like the video? If you did, hit that like and subscribe button and press the notifications bell to get all the new videos we're putting out. Today, I had to do a maintenance wash. It's about seven months after we coated the car with Art Deshines Nano Graphene Coating. That's their NGC. And that's a real fantastic coating. Just has great gloss, nice durability. It's, it's a 360 uh, degree awesome coating you know what i'm saying it does a little bit of everything and it does it well so i don't know they probably don't wash their car but once every few months i'm not sure if it rains maybe it washes i don't know but it's pretty dirty today and i grabbed i don't have any art to shine wheel cleaner really but i do have the anzo products and i use that on the wheels the tire and the wheel cleaner and these work pretty good you know the the tire cleaner you spray it on and it kind of turns into a gel on the tires and you scrub them scrub them. i had to scrub the tires twice because of the browning and with the wheel cleaner it's like a two-in-one it does an iron removal and a wheel cleaner i i do like i think the wheel cleaner more than the tire cleaner but they're both about the same now i did notice now that the bottles that these come in the tops are starting to tilt on them i don't know they're they're kind of falling falling apart and just kind of cheaply made i don't know what's going on with them but it's it's tilted now and you know it feels like it might want to fall off as i'm using it so kind of a eh, you know little ding on the enzo bottling system the sprayers i like but i don't know if it's the bottle or the sprayer or the the little twisty part that you screw it on to. Anyway, they work pretty good, right? So we clean the wheels and the tires with those. And then I grabbed the McKee's Hydro Blue and I sprayed it on the wheels and I rinsed it off. The Hydro Blue, once again, is a spray and rinse type of sealant. You can use this monthly, bi-monthly, weekly, whatever you wanna do. This also goes on the paint everywhere. I could have done the car paint uh, topper with this as well but since it's an art to shine coating once I finished washing the vehicle I dried it and then I made a uh, by the way I washed it with their citrus cleaner which is a pH neutral type of cleaner and you can dilute this really far down and you can even use this it says gentle to be able to use it like on the interior I guess I've never done that but that's what the bottle says I do like this soap though, it foams pretty good. And as you can see, when I foam the car, that coating is so strong that nothing wants to stick to it. So anyway, we dried the car. I made up my graphene solution, my graphene detailer from Art to Shine. And uh, that's one part detailer to nine parts water. I just kind of filled this with some water and poured maybe a, a little uh, half ounce into there. So that works really well. You spray that either on the car or on your, your towel and then you rub it in flip the towel and buff it off brings that shine back adds protection gives it some of the slickness back really nice product there i finished off with their uh, tire coat from art to shine and that's a nice easy substance you know nice liquid to use it's clear you wipe it on gives a nice uh, medium gloss type of look to it not super wet not super dry a nice deep gloss though very very nice so very very simple the the seven months update on the nano graphene coating is fantastic i mean it's beating like crazy as it should and these guys you know they don't wash it much i don't know how long it sits out during the day they have two cars so i'm sure you know their their work drive makes them drive around town so i know that they're out in these cars and they're using them in the sun and we just finished summer here so that thing's been through all of summer part of last winter and uh you know it's coming around seven months now so very very good coating like the art to shine products if you haven't tried their nanographing coating that's what we saw today and it's still holding up very well thanks for watching guys hope you liked the video have a great day and stay tuned for more